This is Randy Thompson coming to you live. We have Trudy Adams on Miss Annie. Trudy has not been riding Annie for at least six weeks now. So we're banging her back from a long break and we're doing that by isolating what Trudy's doing with her body for a half halt as she asks Annie to stay more connected. So since we're going into the trot, it's going to happen pretty fast and Annie's probably going to go quicker than she needs to, but that's all right. It'll be part of our process of adding the half halts. All right, so with the half halt for the trot, you'll have to sit a couple steps. You might have to slow down the trot at first. Okay. So when you're ready, shorten your rein just a little bit. Just slow down the front end so she picks you up under her seat. Add your leg and your half halt. Push your lower leg forward. Good. Sit a cup. That's all right. She feels you're doing something different. She feels me kind of holding. That's right. And normally this is where you get light in your seat and put your reins forward. Now because she's more of a, you know, more of a first level type of a horse, we're going to ask her to stay more connected from the rain to the, from the hind feet to the leg is what we're talking about. But she was pretty, still pretty green last year. Good, good, take your time. Okay, think 10 steps to a walk, slow down the front end until her nose drops. Half halt with your body, sit, sit, sit. Do you feel where you start caving in on the front? I did. I did. That's perfect. As long as you feel it, because that's your tendency. So now make sure, that's it. And then ask for the trot with your seat and legs. At first, she may not get it because now we're really starting to ride her more from your seat and legs. It's a big shift. Good. I think she's handling the shorter rein better than she used to. Oh, yes, yes, because before we couldn't ride her with a connection like this. Good. That's it. Okay, now remember, you're going to use your inside. We're going to start the connecting now. Good, good. Sit. So you feel when you do your half halt at the trot, you still like to stay up? Yeah. So you want to think, maybe you have to think sitting two, rising one, until you finally get to the last three steps. Or just, and, or just sit. Or just sit, that's right. So you're going to find that space because you can feel that right now you're just experimenting with because you can feel that your half halt isn't really going through your body for her to feel, which is what happens with most riders. Yep, count. That's right. How was your chest? How was your rib cage? I, maybe a little collapsed, but better. Better. That's right. That's right. That's right. It's like this. That's right. <laughs> I'm exaggerating. Yep. Now, as you're trotting, go ahead and say, "I'm." She. Uh, I want you to feel my half halt and see if she's listening. Good, good. Isn't it funny how words make it easier? Yeah, because it makes you think about what you do. That's right, that's right. And then she's zoning out. Then she disconnected with you at the walk, right? Yeah. So you remember after the half halt, you have to keep her back end energized. That way she'll keep her back up and she'll be stepping into the frame of your reins. Good. Soften her jaw. That's it. Soften her jaw. Inside rein and leg now. Now. Now, when the inside hind is off the ground. Good, good. How did that feel? Better, and I feel like she's better connected in the walk. That's right. You're keeping her together in your upward and downward transitions because that's what happens with most horses. They'll come down from the trot and fall apart. Good. You can go the other direction, too. Talk to yourself. Annie, can you feel my half halt? Good. That's it. Inside rein and leg at the same time. Oh, I know it's somebody put who what put are you looking at her coat. She's looking I know. She's like, that wasn't there the last time I went around. Good, keep her connected. So she's got to wait for you. Feel like she's waiting for you. Wait, yep, have her wait. That's it. Good, good. So you might have to get just a little more assertive with the front end right now. Good. Keep oh, good, girl. Good, good. Girl. keep your chest up. Good. Now we're going to ask her to stay more connected as you're doing this. Remember how we started walking before? Now you're going to trot and we're just going to feel where she disconnects because that's where you're going to add the half halt. Get her attention. Yep. Good. Good. Praise her. Okay. Now get her more focused on you. Keep her balanced. That's right. Get her to step up from behind so her back is up. Soften with your inside rein and leg. Now. Now. Now, now, then you're going to soften her pole and put where, put her head where you want it to be with the outside rein and leg, which would be used now, now, 
Now, now, can what do you feel? Tell me what you feel when her inside hind leg is off the ground so we can get a feel for it. It's now, 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 now. Good, sit a couple steps. Now, 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 now. That's where your rear end slides out behind you. Good. Go back to your rising trot and tell me what happens with her shoulder when you're going up. What's happening to her shoulder now? Now, oh, that's a walk. Her shoulder or mine? Hers. Oh, okay. That's all right. Good, good. Keep her connected. What's happening with her, with her inside shoulder now? Now, now. Now, now, now. Can you feel her inside leg coming back? Yeah. Good. That's when you're going to use your inside aids. On the outside, when the outside shoulder comes back, is when you're going to use your outside aids. Good. Get her a little more connected. Slow down the front end. Have her wait for you. Praise her. Use your half halt and send her forward. Good. Praise her. It's all right. She's going to disconnect at first. We've never asked her with a half halt quite like this before. She likes to still go to her little racing around. That's right. Well, that, those days of racing around can happen every now and then. But now you've got to say, if she's not connected, slow down the front end and put her back under your seat as you use your half halt. Good. Connect her with you. Like right now, is she in front of your seat or behind it or under it? Is she... Good. If she's in front of you, then the front end is going too fast. So slow down the front end until you feel her come under your seat. Tell me when you feel it. Good. Praise her. Keep putting her back under your seat. Play with it. Yes, 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 yes. She's looking for a loose rein because she's not used to going on a contact. This is hard. We're asking her to connect, and she thought she was retired after these six weeks off. Good. Connect her more. That's all right. She's going to give you all kinds of things at first. There's nothing she can do wrong. She's like, are you asking for... Yeah, that's all right, because, you know, this is different. We're really isolating the half halts as we keep her connected. This is new to her, so she's going to do all kinds of things. There's nothing she can do wrong. You're teaching her to ride, let you ride her more from your seat and legs. Very good. Good girl. So now you can try it. You can do big uh, serpentines. Oh, you can give her a treat. She deserves a treat. treat because that was. Really, she hasn't bucked me off. She hasn't. <laughs> she was. Uh, we lunged her first, and she was it had the wind up her tail a little bit. A little bit. But we've got a little wind today, so sometimes I get that wind up their tail. That's right. Can't do anything with. Okay, I'm gonna turn this off now, and then we'll start it again for part.